Hi, in this chapter, we are going to discuss linear momentum and collisions. Momentum is an important quantity in physics. Newton's second law was originally written in terms of momentum. Conservation of momentum is one of the fundamental laws in the universe. There are two types of momentum in terms of its associated motion. Linear momentum in a translational motion and angular momentum in a rotational motion. In this chapter, linear momentum will be discussed as well as its applications in collisions. In physics, the linear momentum of an object is defined as the product of its mass and velocity. This is inconsistent with our daily perception of this term. A heavy and fast football player is hard to be tackled because he has a great momentum. Since mass is a scalar and velocity is a vector, the linear momentum is also a vector. Its direction is the same as that of the velocity. The unit for the linear momentum is kilograms, meters, Per second. Let us make a couple of simple calculations about linear momentum. In this problem, it asks to calculate the momentum of a 110 kilogram football player running at 8.00 meters per second. We can start by writing the required equation, and we know that equation is momentum equals mv. And to specific, I'm going to call this p player, which is equal to mv. We just know that m, m is mass and v is velocity. And we know that in this problem, mass is 110 kilograms and velocity is 8.00 meters per second. So therefore, we can plug these two numbers into this formula, 110 times 8.00. And the answer is 880. And don't forget unit, which is kilograms, meters per second. Let's look at another example. This one says, compare the player's momentum with the momentum of a hard-thrown 0.410 kilogram football that has a speed of 25.0 meters per second. First, we need to find out the momentum of the football before we can compare with the player's momentum. So it's very similar. We are going to set up by setting momentum of the football is equal to mv. And we know that mass of the football is given 0 0.410, speed is given as well 25.0 meters per second. Therefore, we can plug these two numbers 0 0.410 times 25.0 and the answer is 10.25 however because both numbers have three significant figures we need to also keep the same number of significant figures so the answer should be 10.3 kilograms meters per second so clearly, if you compare this number with the earlier momentum, you will find that the player has much more momentum than the football. And therefore, we can say P player is greater than P. Football.
the linear momentum is closely related to force. Newton's second law was written in terms of momentum. The net external force equals the change in momentum of a system divided by the time over which it changes. If the mass of the system does not change, this, is, this statement will go back to Newton's second law that we are familiar with. But if the mass of the system does change, only acceleration will not be enough to describe the total force. Therefore, momentum is a comprehensive quantity for what a force can change over time. Now let us look at an example about the force due to the change in momentum. In this problem, it says, during the 2007 French Open, Venus Williams hit the fastest recorded serve in a premier women's match, reaching a speed of 58 meters per second or 209 kilometers per hour. What is the average force exerted on the 0.057 kilogram tennis ball by Venus Williams racket, assuming the ball speed just after impact 58 meters per second? that the initial horizontal component of the velocity before impact is negligible, and that the ball remained in contact with the racket for 5.0 millisecond. So first, we need to find two things. We know that the object is the tennis ball. So initially, the tennis ball is not moving. So let's call V initial zero. And after impact, the tennis ball is going to move in this direction. And let's call this V final, which is equal to 58 meters per second. The mass of the tennis ball does not change. So this is exactly what we just talked in the previous page right here. So therefore, we can say the change in momentum of the tennis ball is equal to mass times change in velocity. And we know that mass of the tennis ball is provided in the problem, which is 0 0.057 kilograms. And also, the change in velocity is always final minus initial. And final is 58, and initial is 0. So this calculation has a result of 3.306. For the same reason, we have to use only two significant figures. That's why the answer should be 3.3 kilograms meters per second. Now, this is only the change in momentum. We are looking for the force by the racket on the ball. So that's why we're looking for F net on the ball. And F net is equal to delta P ball over delta t and delta p ball basically is 3.3 and delta t is the time for the impact which is given near the end of the problem that says 5.0 millisecond but millisecond is not the standard unit we have to convert that to the second so it's going to be 5.0 times 10 to the negative 3. And the answer is 660 newtons. And this is the answer to the problem.